Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, creator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Despite working on a battleship, there aren't actually that many things relating to my job uh, that are the same things that sailors would have done on this ship. So it was really cool when I found uh, this book, just a regular three-ring binder log book, uh, in the collection of various other documents that uh, we have related to the ship that uh, shows that sailors on this ship had to do the exact same thing that I'm doing this month. While the battleship belongs to the nonprofit that runs the museum, and the artifacts that people have donated to us belong to them as well, some of the objects relating to the battleship actually belong to the Navy. And so every year, uh, around this time of year, we have to do a complete inventory of those objects. I want to say we have somewhere around 70 or 80 on board right now. And uh, we have to photo document them. We have to do a condition report, how they deteriorated in the last year or, or what work have we done on them in the last year. And we have to send that to the Navy so that they have records of uh, their artifacts. So we'll talk a little bit about uh, what sort of artifacts those are, why uh, the Navy kept artifacts of this ship when they did not keep this ship, and uh, what exactly the crew did. So this logbook right here is really cool. It is the 1980s logbook where they recorded their inventory of the objects belonging to the Navy Curators Branch. So the, the same job that I do every year reporting to Naval History and Heritage Command, the crew of this ship would have done the same thing to the same people. Although they weren't uh, technically referred to as NHHC then, during, this ship's, during most of this ship's career, they would have been called the Naval History Division. And it seems like, just like they required an annual inventory from us, they also required an inventory from when the ship was in service. Ours we do every winter during our slow season. It seems like they did theirs during a change of commands. We've got a couple logs here for when the CO, or commanding officer, was relieved, and a couple for when the uh, first lieutenant, who's in charge of the deck division, was relieved. You know, it's not uncommon for folks to be assigned to this ship for several years, so doing this, needing to do an annual inventory, it makes sense when a new person starts over and they have to go around and inspect all their spaces, uh, often with, their, with the person they're replacing, that's a good time to also inspect these and sign off on them that they're done. And it explains why the, the dates here aren't consistent. We've got September, we've got May, June, February, and March of 1986. So how could an active commissioned vessel have things owned by their curator branch on board? What's the deal with that? It's actually interesting. I was just talking to my friend at Naval History and Heritage Command because the new submarine New Jersey is going to receive a portrait painted by one of Battleship New Jersey's uh, painters, a, a very well-known maritime artist by the name of Jim Flood. He served on the ship during Vietnam. He's painting a portrait for their wardroom, which shows, shows all three USS New Jerseys sailing together. Uh, so I, I let my buddy there know that this was happening. I'm like, how, what, what's the deal with that? So when the commanding officer of the submarine or any active ship receives some sort of command gift like that. This is going to be awarded to them um, on the occasion of the ship being commissioned to be hung in the ship's wardroom, presumably. Uh, so when they receive something like that, not like a challenge coin that has very little monetary value, but something like this painting, uh, then they immediately report it to the Navy Curators branch, and they add that to their list of things that they're going to uh, that they're going to catalog from that boat. Because she is the namesake New Jersey, we are looking at things uh, related to the battleship New Jersey that we're going to give them to display. It's, it's very common, especially on the mess decks, to have some sort of display of um, the person that the ship is named after or previous ships that the ship is named after or, or something like that. So um, oftentimes, I'm just going to pick a name out of the hat. I don't know for sure, but let's say uh, USS George Dewey, a, an Arleigh Burke destroyer, is named after Admiral Dewey of Manila Bay fame. So it wouldn't be uncommon for 
a ship like that to have a little display case on the mess decks with maybe Admiral Dewey's sword, probably a portrait of Dewey, maybe pictures of previous uh, USS Dewey's. Obviously the namesake of the submarine, New Jersey is both the state and the two battleships that predated her, uh, so they will likely have some sort of display there. Some of these objects may come from the battleships collection, some of them may come from Naval History and Heritage Command's collections. Uh, we haven't really had that discussion with them yet. They're not a commissioned vessel yet, uh, so we're not entirely sure what they're going to have to display. Obviously, a submarine has a lot less room for a heritage display than, say, a battleship. So some of the artifacts on a ship are objects that are gifted to the ship and its crew. Some of them were artifacts from previous ships that are loaned to them by the Navy uh, for use while they're on board. Some of the objects become artifacts once the ship is decommissioned. Naval History and Heritage Command will often send a team out when a ship is going to be decommissioned while the crew is still on board and select things to be acquired for the Navy Museum system. Now, these objects are then available for donation to other museums like Battleship New Jersey and other uh, ships in the historic fleet or the actual Navy museums that Naval History and Heritage Command operates. There's 10 of those around the country. Um, but in addition to the like, obvious things, the ship's bell, like, which is the page I'm on right now, one of the ship's two bells. Uh, this is the uh, bell that hangs on our forecastle right now. Th that, that's a pretty common thing to add to the collection. Other times, they talk to the crew about, hey, what is historically significant? They, they look at the ship's history as well. Uh, these ships also have to submit annual command histories. And so you know what was important if the ship was in action or things like that. And talking to the crew, you, you know that, oh, this plaque or this piece of art or whatever was painted by somebody on board or, or was something important. So for the battleship, some of the things in, in their collection includes the crucifix and the tabernacle from the ship's chapel. Um, other times, they are examples of systems on board that aren't otherwise in the Navy collection. So, for example, our tomahawk, harpoon, and uh, phalanx weapon systems from the 1980s all belong to Naval History and Heritage Command. And in some instances, that is... This is the harpoon system from USS New Jersey. This is now something in the museum. Uh, some instances it is, well, the battleship museum would like this thing. How do we get a phalanx uh, close-in weapon system? That's still a contemporary thing. Uh, well, we can work with the Navy to get one that's demilled, and they give it to NHHC to make it their artifact, and then they allow us to display it on the ship. So there, there are a number of different ways you can work around something like that. So every time Battleship New Jersey was decommissioned, they would have come out, gone through, uh, looked at the things that they had in their collection, and then decided, well, do, do we want to permanently add this to the Navy's collection? Uh, so maybe some of the artwork that was donated to the ship, you know, there isn't room for it in the uh, collection. We're, we're not going to accession that. It, it can be uh, disposed of in some other way, given to a departing commanding officer, or sold, or whatever the case is, given to another museum. Uh, or you, you take it off, and then you look at other things around the ship and decide, hey, yeah, you know, th this uh, tabernacle that you guys got for the ship is, is pretty good. We'll, we'll take that back. And then when the ship is reactivated, some of that stuff comes back on board, some of it doesn't. So, for example, during our Vietnam commission, they acquired the uh, rubber gangway mat with the ship's crest on it. When the ship was reactivated in the 80s, she had a new crest, uh, so they did not give it back to them. They kept it in their collection. And so when we became a museum, we got it from them and now have it on board the ship. We do not have every object that they took from the ship. For example, our uh, wooden name boards that would have hung at the bow. Um, we believe they're Vietnam era, still in the Navy collection. They're on display at the museum at Hampton Roads, uh, which is in the Nauticus building where Wisconsin is docked. And again, some of the objects on board might not necessarily be from New Jersey. I don't believe the phalanxes on board are our originals, but they are representative of the type that would have been here. So it was just 
interesting. Uh, I'm going through right now and inventorying our Navy collection. And uh, in the process of that, I found this original document, which shows the crew going through and, and inventorying their collection. I, I just thought that was really cool because the things that I do here normally are kind of different from what an active crew would be doing on board, except apparently this. Everybody has to do paperwork. So let's say New Jersey is not a museum ship right now, and she's about to be decommissioned from active service. What objects on board do you think the Navy should absolutely uh, acquire for their museum? Let us know in the comment section down below which objects you think they should have accessioned. Obviously, it's a non-starter since the entire ship ended up being preserved, but that's not always the case. What do you think is really cool about USS New Jersey that, that was worthy of being saved? Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves who really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.